So welcome. Um, I'm not going to keep this short. When I'm not flying a Starship, which is sadly most of the time, I teach C++. And people teaching C++ is hard, right? You know, some people tell you you can learn it in 21 days. This is the only real solution I've found to do this. Um, this, this works, right? Long story short, you learn C++, then you study time travel and biology to make yourself younger, go back in time, kill yourself. After 21 days, that will work. So I wanted to make teaching easier. What do you do? I'm from DAE where we work. Let's go to a good conference and find some smart guy to talk to. I found a smart guy um, and I talked to him. We bonded over beard care and beer, which uh, works well together. And then uh, he came to our school and gave a talk. It was a great success. The students loved it. Only was slightly longer than we expected to. It was great. And what I noticed is he was talking a lot about hardware. And when I saw this scheme, it reminded me of some other scheme I had been looking at. People who know this, the best processor ever. I'm sorry, Z80 people, 60, 6502. Um, it's better than Z80 because it's simpler, and simpler is better. Uh, so that was his one. And when he was finished with his talk, I asked him, we were lucky, we old timers, we had to work with these old machines. Of course, we knew the bare metal. That's all we had. How do I do this with my young students? And he told me, take away the shiny stuff. This is all the encouragement I needed because I had been toying with an idea. Let's have the, the students develop something on these old machines. Unfortunately, this 6502 machine, which is super cool, wasn't very popular. Students don't know it anymore, but they know the NES. So my boss told me, make a slide to convince the students. That's exactly the slide I used. It's wonderful, isn't it? Um, I made it a bit shitty on purpose because it's the first year I was teaching this. I didn't want to have too many students. I want a small group. That plan backfired tremendously. Uh, I actually had 32 students the first year. I don't know why my voice is so weird. Um, so why the NES? It's a fucking great console. It's it's a real console. Look at the controller. It's like our controllers now. It has a directions on the left, actions on the right, and meta buttons on the middle. All the controls now are still the same. It has a lot of cool accessories. Some of these games my students know and still enjoy. Um, oh, yeah. The, another advantage was I had recently acquired a book. I'm not addicting to book, right? book buying at all. So I had a use for it. There, I've proven it. Um, the NES is nice because it's also pretty simple. Like you can, it has a GPU. It's called the PPU, unfortunately, but it's the, the idea is the same. And you can explain. You, you can explain this in, in 12 weeks. And also, Matt, I'm sorry, this, this whoops the ass of a ZX Spectre. <laughs> and actually, what I wanted my students to realize is one, they needed to stop bitching about how hard C++ is and realize how much a C++ compiler does for them. Right? Oh, these types, they're so annoying. Well, good for you, 65 assembly has no types. <laughs> Everything is a pointer and data and graphics. And apparently afterwards they didn't find that so amusing. The results, I was blown away. This is one of the teams. They made a four player Flappy Bird from scratch. This happened in 12 weeks, right? From not knowing anything to, uh, uh, if for people who know, you need a special accessory called the four score, which is kind of tricky to get to work because it's really a hack thing. They got this to work, wrote their own music, stole the art from Mario. <laughs> These two guys made something called Nestpad, which is a version for Notepad that runs on the NES. Uh, it supports, it supports not the graphics, that's something they spliced in there but several fonts and, and colors, and it's great. Um, they did their final presentation on the NES using their own software. So that's fucking fantastic from these students. I'm running out of time. Uh, does it help? Mathematicians shoot me afterwards. Of course, it's not statistically relevant. But 
We have a course in the fourth semester, which is called Programming 4. Class average is 8 out of 20. And the students who took, because it's an elective, took retro console programming, scored on average an 11. I'm out of time. Um, if you don't come to no shows, it's only a, it's a 10. Could try uh, to him off the stage, but I've yes, yes. got a slide or two there. Oh, um, wait, hurry up. Yeah, yeah, I'm really up. This is, this is the nicest quote I found on Discord from one of my students. Don't finish the whole thing. He wrote, said, hold little OS. Without retro, I like that he wrote retro console with an accent in it, very French. Um, I need your help. If you want any information, send me a mail. If you have old nest crap lying around and you prefer spectrums, send your nest stuff to me. I need it for school. Thank you. I'm sorry I would have a little bit.